How to post prepaid expenses in QuickBooks. Hey there, everyone. My name is Matt Holtquist with the QuickBooks University. Uh, first thing, if this video is helpful, please give it a thumbs up, like the video, share it, uh, and also subscribe. I sure would appreciate that. Okay, so prepaid expenses, and especially in QuickBooks, we're going to walk through how to record these. Now, first, you got to understand what prepaid expenses are. Now, when you have an expense that lasts longer than 12 months, so think uh, insurance or it could be annual dues that you pay all at once, some kind of bill that you pay all up front that's going to last longer than 12 months. You want to record as a prepaid expense. Now, there are exceptions for very small amounts that are immaterial, but in general, you know, you want to spread this expense out over the months that they apply to. So, for example, if you pay all of your annual premium for insurance and you pay it in, let's say, February, well, then that's going to carry every single month. That's a partial expense for every single month through the end of the year through the following January. And you, you want to make sure that you spread it out over these months because then you're matching that expense with the appropriate time period. Otherwise, you're going to have this huge insurance expense in February, and then the rest of the month you're going to show nothing and it's going to kind of make your profit and loss look a little bit uh, funky. Okay, so let's get down to this. We are going to, first of all, I want to show you the chart of accounts. And I've got it here in my open windows. The way I like to set these up, you can see here, I have set up a main account just called prepaid expenses. This is an other current asset. Okay, so a prepaid expense is a current asset. I like to put the various prepaid expenses underneath this as sub accounts. So we have one main account, prepaid expenses, and then you may have insurance, you may have dues, you may have, you know, whatever it is, but you're going to have uh, separated prepaid expenses underneath this. Now, even in insurance, you can break that down between uh, vehicle insurance, general liability, you know, property, whatever but you can break it down as much as you want, but make sure it's a sub account or a sub of a sub account. That way you've just got this one main account you can collapse and keep your financials nice and clean. Okay, so in some cases you get a bill and you're gonna enter a bill. And in some cases, maybe you just have an expense. You know, it's just maybe it's drafted out of your account and it's this one big lump sum. And I had that this week for some building insurance. It was all taken out at one time and it was for the whole year, okay? And it was drafted. So in that case, I'm not gonna enter a bill because I don't need to pay a bill. But let's just assume that you get your insurance bill and you need to pay your bill. So you're gonna go and you're going to enter bills. So we'll go to vendors, enter bills, and we're going to pick an insurance company. This is a sample company file. So I'm probably just gonna go ahead and pick express delivery service. We're going to assume in this example that this is an insurance company. All right, so we're going to say the date on the bill is November 30th, 2023. We'll say that we have a bill number and we're going to say that uh, this insurance is $6,000 for the full year. Okay, so they sent us this. It's due in 30 days and it's $6,000. Now, normally when you're entering a bill, you're going to want to put the account here as an expense. But in this case, we're not going to do that. Okay, you want to hit the drop down menu and you want to go to that other current asset that we set up for prepaid expenses insurance. So there it is right there insurance, prepaid insurance. We're putting this as an asset. This is not an expense. So this is $6,000. All right. So we hit save and close. So now we have our bill in the system and we can go pay that bill when it's due. And you'll see here in the chart of accounts, we have insurance $6,000 and it totals up to the main account prepaid expenses $6,000. Now, now you have to recognize one twelfth. We're going to assume this is for a year. One twelfth of this expense every single month. Now, the easiest way to do that is through a journal entry. All right. So the next step. So once you put in this bill and it's the same thing, if it's just a draft out of the account, you're just going to record it straight in the register and you're going to put it to this prepaid uh, insurance account. Same exact thing. You're just not entering a bill in that case. Okay, 
So we want to go up and do a journal entry. We're going to say company and we are going to make general journal entries. Now, since this bill came in November 30th, you got to look at the renewal period. Let's say the renewal period was 12-1-2023 through November 30th of 2024. So it's a 12 month insurance bill. We want to expense one twelfth of it in this December. Okay, since the policy starts uh, December 1st, we're going to put in this expense. Now, what day of the month you put this in there for the journal entry, it really doesn't matter. You know, typically we're going to do it at the end of the month. So we'll say 12 31 2023, we're going to put in this journal entry. Now, the entry number, if you number them, you can put in whatever numbering system you use. So first of all, we're going to pull up the prepaid expense. You want to make sure you get the sub account insurance and we are going to credit this. OK, so and this gets into debits and credits, but in general, um, a credit will reduce an asset. All right. So we want to reduce it by five hundred dollars because that is one twelfth of the six thousand dollar bill. So we're going to put in five hundred bucks. You can put in a memo here that says uh, prepaid insurance and amortization. OK, that's what this is called. Now, I'm going to skip the classes, but if you use class tracking, by all means, you can do that. Now, what I'm going to do on the next line is we're going to put it to the insurance expense. All right. So we have disability insurance, liability, workers comp and uh, the employee portion of health. So we're going to say this is liability insurance. All right, 500 bucks, 500 bucks. So this journal entry is expending, expensing $500 of this insurance bill of $600 and it's spreading it out over the course of 12 months. This 500 credit is reducing our prepaid expense balance and this is increasing the insurance expense. All right. Now, before you save this, before you save and close, you want to go up to here to memorize. Let me move this screen. This brings up this pop up box here and you're, we're going to memorize this journal entry so that it does it every single month throughout the year. So we don't have to worry about entering it. So we're going to call this prepaid insurance. You can either add it to your reminders list to do it. Do not remind me or automate. We want to automate the transaction entry. How often? We're going to do this monthly. All right, move this back over here. Next date. OK, so this one is 12 31 2023. So we want to make the next one 131 2024. The number remaining is going to be 11. All right, because this one is the first one. And then we have 11 left 11. And the days in advance to enter, it, you can put this and have it enter a couple days in advance. That's fine. You can leave it at zero. It's going to do it the day of. Um, I'll just put one. So one day in advance to enter. So we click OK and you're going to hear this uh, uh, camera sound. There it is there. All right. So then we're going to save this. We're going to save and close. All right. And you'll see here now that our prepaid insurance is down by 500 bucks. All right. And now the journal entry will enter every single month. So it'll slowly reduce this balance over the next 12 months to zero and it'll put your expense at five hundred dollars per month. So those are the basics of how to post prepaid expenses in QuickBooks. If you have any questions, any comments, please feel free to leave those below. Also, go to the QuickBooks University. I've got a link in the description of the video. I've got it in the first comment that's pinned here. Go check it out. Check out the masterclass. Got a lot to offer over there. You won't be disappointed. Look forward to talking to you soon.